Thanks to the high-quality coating of the body with special compounds, even before painting, the metal perfectly resists corrosion. The interior with most round elements is too strict. At the same time, it is made with high quality. According to the reviews of the owners, even after the time has passed, the plastic does not make extraneous sounds. But some blame the sound insulation, arguing that the sound of the engine, especially at high speeds, makes its way into the cabin. Despite the considerable ground clearance of 195 mm, landing and disembarking are comfortable. Inside it can accommodate five people. Visibility from the driver's seat is good, and the pillars of the body do not block visibility. Engine. All Outlanders are equipped with gasoline powertrains. The most widely used engines are 2.0 liters and 2.4 liters, the latter is more common, but the charged turbo versions with the turbo engine from Lancer Evolution with a volume of 2.0 liters, 240 horsepower, are rarely seen, officially they were only about 300 sold. So it is not easy to find them in the secondary market. The owners are in no hurry to part with these rare and very dynamic cars. The atmospheric 2.0 liter 4G63 engine is reliable. Some units have already passed under 400,000 kilometers and still do not require the intervention of Minders. Moreover, the Copec piece is not particularly demanding on the brand of gasoline and perfectly digests the A92. The gas distribution mechanism is equipped with trouble-free hydraulic lifters. The only drawback is twitching at the beginning of the movement and when shifting gears in a cold state, especially in the cold season. However, experts say that this is not a problem, just the engine should first be warmed up and only then start moving. The more modern 2.4-liter 4G69 engine is equipped with a proprietary MIVEC valve timing and valve lift mechanism, individual ignition coils and an electric throttle. However, it has many shortcomings. One of the main ones is gluttony. In the urban cycle, it easily consumes 14 to 17 liters per 100 kilometers. At the same time, it is very sensitive to fuel quality. The use of low-octane gasoline, below 95th, can lead to engine failure. Detonation that occurs during long driving destroys the partitions between the piston crown and the upper compression ring. In addition, poor quality fuel causes an increase in the temperature regime of the catalysts. As a result, its cells melt and collapse, and their particles can get into the cylinders and cause scoring or intense wear of the CPG parts. Some owners, in order to save money, install gas equipment. When driving on liquefied gas, Minders advise reducing the interval for adjusting valve clearances to 20 to 40,000 kilometers. Otherwise, due to wear of the valve seats and a decrease in thermal clearances, the compression in the cylinders decreases, which is manifested by a noticeable decrease in thrust. Eventually the valves can burn out. The 2.4 liter engine has proven itself to be very voracious and fastidious. Also noted was the failure of the pressure sensor in the air conditioning system, the power of which is tied together with the power supply of the potentiometer of the electronic gas pedal, 2.4 L4G69. As a result, the engine does not respond to the gas pedal, and the car can only move in emergency mode at idle speed. The timing of all units is driven by a belt which must be changed every 80,000 kilometers along with the rollers. At the same time, a new balancer shaft drive belt should also be installed. But the pump of the cooling system, driven by the timing belt, does not require mandatory replacement. It can last two belt service lives. Transmission. Unlike competitors, Outlander has permanent all-wheel drive, which provides it with good stability and predictable behavior on the road. In normal modes, the moment between the wheels is distributed equally, and when the wheels slip, the viscous coupling, as in the Lancer Evolution, locks the center differential, preventing the moment from going to the slipping wheels. Remember that the Outlander is not an SUV, but an ordinary crossover, the all-wheel drive of which was created for confident driving on paved roads, and not for conquering off-road. Experts note that the Outlander clutch does not withstand slipping in mud, sand, or towing other cars. In addition, riding with a scorched clutch also wears out the flywheel. When replacing a clutch, it is useful to know that three types of driven discs were offered for the Outlander, one of which has more endurance, the so-called reinforced. The characteristic slack of the rear suspension is the floating, external silent blocks of the three wishbones. All versions with 2.0-liter engines were equipped with a 5-speed manual gearbox, and with 2.4-liter engines, a 4-speed adaptive automatic Invex 2. The latter adapts to the driving style of the driver changing the moment of gear shifting. You drive calmly, 
switching occurs at lower engine speeds, actively, the engine gets out until it rings. The automatic transmission has a manual gear shift mode. Lubrication in both gearboxes, Rizdaka, and the rear axle is changed every 40,000 kilometers. According to the serviceman, the automatic is the most reliable, but the mechanics can cause trouble. So, with improper operation, the reverse gear fails, in the case when they try to turn it on on a moving car. And in the outlander of the first years of production, 2003 to 2004, a breakdown of the third gear gear was noted, which stops moving the car. Suspension. Moderately energy intensive independent front and rear suspensions of the Outlander provide a comfortable ride over pits and bumps, it is softer than that of the Air to the XL and some competitors. But with active driving, unpleasant rolls occur. McPherson is used in front of the suspension, and a multi link is used in the back. The least, about 70,000 kilometers, on our roads are the front stabilizer bushings. The rear bushings can last up to 90,000 kilometers, racks of stabilizers go 100 to 150,000 kilometers, ball bearings of the front levers can run about 100,000 kilometers, silent blocks, even longer. In the rear suspension, over time, moisture and dirt get under the floating outer silent blocks of the three wishbones, and the rubber bands begin to creak unpleasantly, and then become unusable. As a result, the wheel alignment angles are violated. In cars after 2005, Silent blocks were modernized, ordinary ones were used instead of floating ones, and the problem disappeared. The outer rubbers of the rear suspension are changed separately from the levers, the inner ones are changed together. Although they serve more than 100,000 kilometers, the cost of spare parts is from 400 to 1500 UAH. By 100,000 kilometers, failure of the rear axle gearbox mounting pads is not ruled out, which is accompanied by an unpleasant knock at the beginning of the movement. The brakes of the crossover are effective. On most versions, disc mechanisms are used in front and behind. There may be problems with the front brakes. On the versions of the first years of production, the caliper guides knock. The manufacturer eliminated the problem by upgrading the guides. The front ventilated discs on all Outlanders are asymmetric, with different wall thicknesses, and, as experience shows, they are subject to warping, which manifests itself in a characteristic beating when braking. Depending on the driving style, the discs serve 50 to 100,000 kilometers. The rack and pinion steering of all Outlanders is equipped with the power steering, the tightness of which causes criticism. Problem areas are a radiator for cooling the working fluid, made in the form of an aluminum tube, at the point of attachment with a metal clamp, it is wiped over time, as well as a high-pressure hose, liquid leaks at the place where the tube is rolled. On our roads, steering rods serve 60 to 80,000 kilometers, tips even longer. 